So in this video, we're going to talk about the addition rule and a little bit about the derivative of a constant. So what the addition rule says is basically if we take the derivative of two functions added together like this, f of x plus g of x, and we'll put the close bracket there, there we go. Um, now that's saying that this is exactly the same as taking uh, the derivative of each one separately like this. Um, f of x plus the derivative of this plus sign uh, g of x. So say if these were power functions, um, we would do each one individually and then just add them together. Now another way we could write this um, would be simply, uh, this is also the same way as saying, uh, you know, f prime at x plus g prime at x prime at x, or if you like shorter notation even, you can just reduce it down to f prime plus g prime, right? These are all equal statements. So let's do an example. Let's say we have um, d dx of, let's say, 3x squared plus mm, 4x cubed. So now, all we're going to do is we're going to differentiate these separately. This is the same as, well, um, we do this one first. So bring the 2 down. This would be 6x. 6x plus, now here we would bring the 3 down. So this would be 12x. And minus 1 up top would be uh, 12x squared. So that's it. Um, now don't get confused about this uh, f of x plus g of x. Like for example, if this was actually, say we had, say if f of x, our function was, let's say, 3x squared plus 4x cubed, then f prime at x would simply equal this. Um, 6x plus 12x uh, squared, right? So don't get confused about f of x and g of x. These are just kind of representing separate terms. Um, so now what we're going to talk about also is we're going to talk about the, the derivative of a constant, uh, and then we'll put these two together and see what happens. Now we know what the derivative is. We know that the derivative of any function is its slope, right? So if we have a constant function, we'll just draw it down here quickly. Uh, if these were our axis, we know that um, a constant function is just a horizontal line. Okay, and so we're going to call this constant, we're going to use the capital letter A um, to describe our constant. So what's happening here is basically if we want the derivative of the constant, so we'd say um, dA over dx. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use the limit uh, definition of a derivative just to prove that this is zero and you can tell like the the slope of a horizontal line obviously is zero but we'll uh, we'll just prove this quickly with the, the limit definition so basically we have to say that this is equal to uh, the limit as h goes to zero um, now if we pick two points remember this would be x um, you know this would be h and this would be x plus h and their y values are both a, right? So when we want rise over run, um, it's going to be a minus a. Because f at x plus h is equal to a, and f at x is equal to a. And this is all going to be over the run, which is h. So now a minus a so is going to be 0. So we'll get the limit uh, of 0 over h, h as h goes to 0. And, and now we can uh, reduce this further and we'll get the limit as h goes to 0 of 0, which is equal to 0, which makes sense. The slope is 0 because this is a horizontal line. Um, and just make sure we noted down that we did say, um, so let's say um, f at uh, x was equal to f at uh, x plus h, and these are both equal to a. So just make sure you remember we did that, because it makes sense. 
horizontal line. These are all going to be equal to each other. So now let's put the two of these together. Uh, say we want to differentiate, um, let's do a cubic function. So if we say that f at x, uh, f at x is equal to, let's say, 5x cubed um, minus 2x squared um, plus 4x, mm, let's say, minus 10. Right, we want to find out what the derivative is of this function, the slope at any point uh, of the function. So we say f prime at x, this is the derivative now, is equal to, and we're going to look at each of these terms individually. So we'll start with the first one, we'll bring the 3 down, this will be 15x, we'll minus 1 from here, and we'll get 15x squared. Now minus, the minus stays the same, and now we're looking at this term. So we'll bring the 2 down and minus 1, so we'll get 4x now the plus sign stays the same, and uh, the derivative of x is just 1. Remember, we talked about that before. So this is going to be plus 4. And minus 10, uh, the derivative of a constant term is just 0. So this is the derivative here. Um, we'll square this, put a box around this. This is the derivative of this big, long, cubic function. So, so that's it. It's pretty easy. Just look at each term individually. Um, now, next video, we're going to get into the product rule, and we have kind of two, uh, two terms multiplied to each other instead of adding or subtracting. So I'll see you there.